Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're introducing the newest My Monthly Hero Kit from Hero Arts. The January My Monthly Hero Kit is perfect for those crafters who love to take the time to color gorgeous florals, as well as those who want to create quick cheery cards for friends and family. The 6x8 set has a large floral image and smaller individual flowers. It also has the cutest chubby bees I've ever seen and some fun honeycomb patterns. There are coordinating dies for the stamp set, as well as a fun standalone honeycomb window die. Finally, the kit includes six sheets of specialty cardstock in three different colors and a gold lacquer pen. This weekend, I shared my first card using the kit over on my blog, and you can find the post in the link above. I took my time and really enjoyed coloring those gorgeous florals. However, today, I'm sharing how to create four cards from one background using some simple watercoloring and this fantastic kit. So let's get started. First, I swipe my anti-static powder bag over a 9x12 panel of Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. Then I randomly stamp the honeycomb pattern all over the panel with VersaFine. Sometimes I stamp off the edge of the paper, sometimes I connect the honeycombs, and sometimes I change the orientation of the stamp to get different designs. I didn't actually try this, but I'm pretty sure you could just about cover the entire panel with honeycombs if you wanted by just changing the direction of the stamp. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just covering the panel, but leaving a little white space. After I'm done stamping, I heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. Then I tape the panel down to my glass mat and wet the surface of the paper thoroughly with clean water and a flat paintbrush. I let it sit for a moment so that the water starts to absorb into the paper. Next I add a bright yellow watercolor paint across the panel. I kinda outline the pattern of the honeycombs, but don't follow it strictly. I use pretty concentrated color as I'll be diluting it down and lightening it as I go. Once I add color across the panel, I use clean water to soften the edges. Then I blot off some of the color with a paper towel. Next, I use darker shades of yellow to partially color some of the honeycombs. I blot off the color on some of the combs and allow some to remain darker. When I'm done, I dry the panel with my heat gun. In general, I keep it light and a little messy. This panel is going to become four backgrounds, and I want them to be a little more abstract and soft. I continue blotting, drying, and adding more color until I'm happy with the way it looks. Then I add splatters of the same colors across the panel. Next, I add a little metallic gold watercolor to some of the honeycombs and splatter gold across the panel.
I dry the panel and then finish it with splatters of pearlescent black watercolor paint. The gold and black are hydrocolor handmade watercolors and the yellows are from my Magello Mission Gold palette. You can find links to them below. I let the panel dry completely and then trim it down to four A2 panels. I love how each panel looks like an individually created scene and you could easily create fast unique sets of cards using te this technique in any pattern and colors you desire. I could see doing something similar with a floral swag, abstract pattern, or shapes like hearts, rainbows, or stars. Next, I stamp a mess of chubby bumblebees from the kit. I stamp them with Versafine and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder. Then I do some very simple Copic coloring using Y13, 15, and 17. I start with my lightest shade, Y13. Then I add my darker shades, Y15 and 17, around the edges of the B to give them a little more dimension and the illusion of roundness. Finally, I blend and soften the edges with Y13. Next, I use B01, B0000, and B000 on the wings. I want to keep the wings looking a little transparent and glass-like, so I just add a tiny bit of the light blue shading to the areas of the wings that are closest to the bee's body. After I color all my bees, I die cut them with the coordinating dies. Next, I stamp four of the sentiments onto black cardstock with embossing ink and heat emboss them with white embossing powder. I trim them down to squares and rectangles and then mat them with frames cut from the black glitter cardstock included in the kit. Then I kind of play around with each panel deciding what orientation I prefer, portrait or landscape, and where I want the bees and sentiments. I lay out each card design just to get an idea for the finished panels. Once I finished arranging the panels, I use foam mounting tape to adhere the sentiment and bees to each panel. I use my Wendy Vecchi station to line up my sentiment, and after I add the bees, I adhere the panels to my card bases. And that's it! The January My Monthly Hero Kit is now available while supplies last, so don't wait too long to snag yours. You can find more information over on my blog or in the YouTube description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so that you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!